What is up everybody and welcome to another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Masterpiece Style G1 Optimus Prime by Magic Square MSO2 Light of Peace. And before we take a look at the figure himself, we must of course take a look at the box. Now since this is a Masterpiece figure style, I keep the boxes for those. Uh, as you can see, you got the figure or the figure, it's just a render of the character right here. His name is Light of Peace. He is MSO2, Magic Square, age of 16 and up. On the top of the box, you got Magic Square. On the side of the box, you got Magic Square. On the other side of the box, you got Magic Square and Icon. And on the back of the box, you got your truck mode image and the fact uh, all of his uh, tech specs and stuff. Uh, so that's about all I have to say about this box. So let's get him out here and see what he's actually like. And now that we have the MSO2 Light of Peace in his truck mode, we have to take a look at his accessories first. He does come with two trailer hitches that I just keep in this little bag because I think they come in this bag. I bought it from a secondhand person, so I'm not sure. Uh, they come, it's an MP44 and an MP10 trailer hitch. Don't know which is which i don't own either of those figures they will stay in the box for forever uh you also have an included energon axe that is just cast in trans orange plastic uh the way it connects is you just want to take this back section off and it just tabs in to a couple of holes in there i will never use this because it's trans plastic and trans plastic scares me and then you also have an included ion blaster that's just cast in black plastic now uh, it's got some nice sculpted in detail on that uh the barrel on the on mine can be removed don't know if that's a thing that all of these copies of the figure can do but mine does and that's about all i have to say about the accessories so now let's dive into the truck mode now this particular version which is the initial release version uh is almost entirely unpainted plastic the only parts that are painted are the top lights on top of the cab, all the chrome for the bumper, and the silver for the headlights, or not the headlights, for the windshield wipers, my bad. You also have some gray behind the actual chrome for the headlights on this guy. You also have some chrome for the wheel, for the rims, and the gas can, and the side view mirrors, as well as the smoke stacks. Uh, the rubber, the t tires, sorry, are made of rubber um, and then for the tail lights, you do have uh, a nice tangerine and a red color for those. And it's the same thing on this side. Now, I do want to get this Autobot logo removed at some point. I just need to buy uh, the white fill-in ones because that's more accurate to the cartoon. And that's about all I have to say about this guy in truck mode. So let's get some other figures in here and see how he scales up. And just moving Light of Peace over just a tad, here we have him next to my previous Optimus Prime review, the Legacy United Animated Prime. Here we have him next to my next review, the Animated Legacy United Bumblebee. And just getting a little bit of extra space in there, here we have him next to the Lego version of Optimus Prime. And now with all those comparisons out of the way, let's get him back into the center of the frame and get him from looking like this to looking like this. And who we I have thoughts. Um yeah, this guy is uh my my my, my thought is great. Uh <laughs> it's it's I I like it more than the MP44 in terms of aesthetic like aesthetically it is I feel better. And, um, it doesn't look like Quasimodo threw up on him. So, there's that. <laughs> so, taking a closer look at the details of this guy, you got the head sculpt, which is a nice, beautiful head sculpt. I, I, I will say I really like that, the way this head sculpt came out. Uh, you got some nice uh metallic blue for those eyes on him if you can even get to see that because it's really dark um you got some nice gray for the head crest the window tits are just uh the way that they regularly look and if you just open them up you got some green and oh i'm still zoomed out 
You got some green in there, some yellow, some red. And if you just open up that matrix chamber, you got the matrix. Now it's Beast Wars colored, so there is no gold on it. It is just plain silver. But that is actually just made of the grill from the vehicle mode. You got some yellow on the crotch plate, some blue on the crotch itself. You do have uh, some nice sculpted detail all over the place on this guy. And then some gray on the tips of the feet. So that's about it for the detail on this guy. So for articulation, he his head is on a ball joint. He can look up that far and down that far, can do some wagon wagon. Uh, the arms, <clears throat> let me just get closer. The arms can go out that far can go in that far they are on a butterfly joint they're actually on because of the transformation to butterfly joints so he can go even further out with his shoulder if the feet want to stay still uh he can go all the way around on a soft ratchet you do have a bicep swivel a elbow swivel a little oh, like a soul like a 40 uh or not, like a 92 degree uh bend at the elbow you do have a wrist swivel uh his wrist can go out for some reason but not in at all you do have all fingers on a ball joint you do have a hinge at the thumb and then a hinge at all of his other fingers uh so that's really nice that you can do that you do have a waist swivel. You can uh, extend that section. It's mostly for transformation, but you can extend it to get an ab crunch. And if you extend it all the way, you can get a ridiculous ab crunch like that, which I don't know what you're using your ab crunches for, but don't, just don't, don't. Uh, the legs can kick up that far can go back that far uh i like this feature of it but i hate it in pre I, in theory i like that the crotch panel goes in but i hate it in practice because then it just fucks up uh the solidity of the mode because then i have to figure out where everything is supposed to sit and then yeah uh you do have a great split on this guy uh surprisingly um you do have over 90 degrees of bend at the knee and if you don't untab the whole leg assembly the feet are also on ball joints can go up that far can go down that far due to transformation have a insane pivot and the back part can also move around due to the transformation but that's about all this guy has to offer in his robot mode so let's get some other figures in here and see how he scales up and just moving the magic square light of peace just off to this side of the review table let's get him next to another fellow prime the transformers movie masterpiece mpm04 optimus prime his first lieutenant autobot jazz and the transformers legacy united animated optimus prime and that's about all I have to say about this version of Optimus Prime, the MS-02 Magic Square Light of Peace. Now, if you want this figure and you, if you really want it, you're going to have to get a different version of it. I don't think that the plain matte finish is available anymore. I believe that was just the first run of the figure. And then they released the um, extras version, which I think comes with a few more accessories. I'm, I'm not quite certain. Um, but that's about all I have to say about it. Great build quality, great scale, might be my favorite Optimus Prime in my collection. So if I can find one, I will leave a link down in the description where you can get a copy of this guy for yourself. And until next time, I will see you all in the next review. Peace out.